Greetings, my sensible liege. Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets at High Chieftain Domino's court. I do not believe we will find anything either. There is less going on here than a graveyard at noon. Uh, yeah, keep it up. Just, just do another sort of pass. Let's see what we can find. Um... We need to see if we can sort of get this territory for ourselves as well. So I'm going to send him to get... Uh, he's already there. I'm going to send him to get maybe some cooks on someone else. Where could we do that? Romance intruder! 55%. My beloved is in danger. I must save her! The sounds from the struggle above is the greatest motivator I have ever known. Without care for life or limb, I hoist myself through Queen Mormoman's window. The scene that meets me is not what I expected. Overturned furniture, shredded curtains, and Mormoman standing over an unmoving body with a bloody dagger in her hand. What are you doing here? she asks, her voice trembling. I raise my hands, a gesture of peace, but she draws her dagger. Do not come any closer. Leave at once, uh, or I will hurt you. Crap. I only tried to help you. Well, that went poorly. Wife. Okay, fine. Um, our bishop doesn't like us, so I might try. I might actually. Sh I should try to sway him. Here you go, buddy. But why don't you like us? We're temperate. Oh, he's gluttonous. And because of my short reign and foreign culture. Well then. Oh well. Okay, so I took that. Um, I don't see any enemy troops in here. Who else are we at war with? Over there, but I'm not moving my troops up there. Like He should come to us, basically. I'm going to split my troops in half so that we don't suffer any sort of extra penalties. And just to make sure that, we, uh, that we've got things covered. Dangerous faction. Oh, really? Liege military power. Hi. Really? You seriously want to me mess with me here? Murder. 5%. Crap. Hmm. I could demand your conversion. You might accept. He probably won't accept. Anything for the faith. I pay him. He changes to Catholicism. There you go. Now he hates me less. My daughter has been taken hostage in... What the hell? In the siege of Scalloway. Son of a... Now listen here. I'm gonna have to take that back, first of all. Second of all... Right, he seems to be coming down here. So I might as well sort of let him come and try to disembark. There you go, buddy. Just let him get sort of locked in there. And now I can kick his butt. Done. And enforce demands. And we're good. So be it. Got him. Okay, let's disband our troops. Disband. Uh, ransom. Okay. My court physician was sort of captured. Um, and also my daughter, I need to ransom her because this is, this is not good. For a favor? For a hundred gold? Son of a... B. Jesus! Fine, take my money, you a-hole. <sighs> okay, let's actually start to sort of increase control in the territories that we hold. Um, first of all, over here in Scalloway. And then we'll... Okay, so she has a, a learning education focus. I could shift her over to Diplomacy if I wanted to. Hmm... I think Diplomacy might be better for what we're trying to do. Choose Focus. There you go. Diplomacy. Nice. We can lawfully... Okay, so I can't imprison you. 
can ask my head of faith for gold. Do you like us? Yes, you do. Give me money. Yes, nice. Um, who is this? Th our sister can actually marry, which is great. If we want her to marry someone, could I get like a good alliance out of her? Queen Kingdom of West Francia. Hello. Oof, spindly. I'll think I'll give her to the brother over here. Matrilineal? We'll still go into matrilineal. And we get an alliance. Oh, they're related. Oh, they'll have inbred children. Okay, maybe not do that. Let's look for alliance power again. Uh, Mercia down there. Bourbon. But, like, can we get some adults in, actually? Maybe not send her off to, to like, grow a kid? <laughs> the Duchy of Angria! <laughs> Why so angry? And you know what? Actually, no. So, I want... So, I want an alliance. And I want to gain prestige. I think prestige gain is much more important than alliance power right now, actually. So over here. It's going to be 300 prestige. It's another 1,000 troops. We can use that. So send proposal. Do it. Make it happen. Okay. There you go, buddy. Excellent. Hey, excellent. Okay, so now we have actually some more alliances. Um, very well. There's no more secrets that we can actually find over there. Mercia. My skilled uncle, my uncle High Chieftain Ed, has proven himself highly capable, especially in discreet manners. There are some projects I would like to undertake in the Mormon drum of Moray, my liege. With your blessing, of course. I'm not gonna spend the prestige. Vassal shouldn't be taking... You know what, he can take the opinion hit. It's gonna be fine. Don't think about it. Can demand payment from you, and you're a vassal, and I want to take your lands. We won't do that. <clears throat> I can create a duchy of Northumbria, and I could keep that title for myself, basically. Hmm. I would like to do that, actually. Um. <clears throat> what else? Meritocracy, taxman, collect taxes, effectiveness, monthly income at war, vassal tax contribution. Yes, please. The White Heart. Since I started my search, re my search, uh, reports are coming in from all over the realm of people spotting the flightly, the flighty White Heart. To shift through the accounts and sort fact from fiction is a huge task. If only the reports were more reliable. I will employ people to look for it. That's fifty gold. My steward will sort this. He'll lose more opinion of us. I can do it. I must. The task is too huge. Uh, I'll employ people. I don't want to stress myself out. I don't want to lose any more opinion. Mm. Um, empathy and kind heart. I'm going to keep swaying the archbishop so that he can give me money. <clears throat> Excellent. He likes. He's starting to like us. This is great. We can create the Duchy of Northumbria. I want to do this. It'll give us some prestige. And we can keep the duchy title for ourselves. Right? And it'll it give us... A du jour Cassus Belli. If we have that already, we don't. I'm researching it right now. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of ways we can do wacky stuff, but mm, it's kind of hard. I can decrease the size of these men at arms even more. Yeah, it's going to make us be a little weaker, but seriously, I need to... Stop losing, like, bleeding prestige this month. It's not good. It's not good. Not good, I say. Um. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to see... Do I have any duchies? High Chief of the Isles. This is ours. Okay. Um, the Mormon Dren of Shetland... Which is up here. This is uh, where the current holder of that, which is good. 
Okay, and we also got the Mormondron of Ulster right over here. Okay, which is good. But I think these are just counties, right? So this is a duchy title, High Chief of the Northern Isles. High Chiefdom, I'm sorry, which is this one, and we hold it. But you know what's weird? Like, foreign ruler. So if I declare war on you, I need to declare war on your county and to take it for myself. Wealth aplenty. My treasure is brimming with gold and silver. Is it though? Is it really? And all expenses are cared for. As a wealthy lord, I am expected to offer patronage to some kind of artist or scholar. As luck would have it, three potential candidates just arrived in Alba. But do any of them impress me? Kenech is known for growing beautiful gardens. <coughs> Um, you're Gaelic, okay. Rigan's religious poetry has moved many souls. You're Gaelic as well. And the discoveries made by Mel Mihil show promise. So, supporting religious art gives us piety. Um, funding natural philosophy is going to give us learning and more de development, which is good. And you are also Gaelic. I'm trying to look for someone who's Scottish, maybe to get them um, in here. But I guess the discovery is going to be good. <clears throat> We're going to get some more development in our provinces. This is good. Right, so we hold this county. The county of Orkney is not actually held by us. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to take his stuff over here. I'd very much appreciate actually taking his stuff. I can't afford the cost of war, but holy war. With the target, all titles held are seized, and only Catholic rulers are vassalized by us. Declare war. Okay. And uh, let's, uh, let's actually raise our armies. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to say, hey, let's put another flag over here. Let's raise... Just the local army, I think, is going to be enough. He doesn't seem to have a lot of troops, 500 troops. That's going to be fine. And it allows us to raise another local army if I kind of see him bouncing around over here, yeah? Call to war. You're fighting against peasants. Fine. I shall come to your aid. You little annoying thingy how many troops does he got in? does he have in there 500 yeah decisive victory yeah we're gonna take care of that okay we had um we won that battle now we're kind of sieging down that that tiny island we're gonna get that for ourselves um we've got some more sort of peasant rabble in here so I'm going to raise the local army in here as well. We're going to merge the two. Um, and we're going to move it in here. And we're actually going to go and uh, win that battle. Uh, I'll probably lose though. Hmm. Hold on. If I come in from over here. That's a 30. Jesus. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to retreat on this one. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to enforce my demands. Enforce demands. Good. So now I have this as well. Right? It's not great. But it's something, right? And I need to get my sort of armies. I'm going to have to disband you. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, we got our butts kicked royally. Let's raise some more local armies. There you go, buddy. And let's sort of take... Let's take him down. I'm going to disband you. Victory! Locals pacified. Lovely. Okay, let's disband. We're also at war with someone else. Hello. Um, and we're at war because it's the Desmondian conquest of the Earldom of Armand. When did this happen? 
Hello. When did this happen? Okay. Fine, let's party. Party on, Wayne. Hey, Sefo99. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. We're playing a little bit of Crusader Kings. It's just a Tuesday chill stream, gaming chill stream. Um, and we're trying to form Scotland. It's not as easy as, I, as I'd hoped because we want to turn Scottish, but we've got no one actually in our realm who can help us with that. Um, I'm trying to uh, also like romance our wife to get a ton of babies, but that's not happening. If I go in here, can't romance you for a while. Hmm. But I can sway you. Make you like me. Okay. And uh, apparently we're in a war for some reason. So we'll just have to win it then. Because we're in it to win it. How is your Tuesday going though? I hope you're having an awesome start of the week. I took the... Der Ile, our daughter, out playing with a bow, and to surprise, she ran, and to my surprise, she ran into a wounded doe. She had not hesitated in the slightest to bring it down. Okay, so she's going to be ambitious, right? She's going to be very stressed out. Um, that's going to be fine, because it's going to give us, it's going to give her a boost to her stats. Okay, we are gaining prestige, but unfortunately we're losing it because... Um, we're not generating sort of enough passively, yeah? We've got a ton of armies. Get him! The Battle of Baltimore. Hey, Plathfus! Welcome! Everyone knows romancing your wife is a losing battle. <laughs> well, I mean, chocolate helps. From what I've heard. Um, tax man, war property, your monthly income while at war. Let's do that. Uh, what's my favorite video game soundtrack? Oh boy. Hmm. So obviously Doom 2016 is up there. Right, there's no mistaking it. Um, before that... I'm thinking the original StarCraft soundtrack. I'm thinking the Secret of Monkey Island, the first one soundtrack. And uh, the original Red Alert, I would say as well. Hey, he's sieging down my stuff. Raise local army. Oof, that's not going to be enough troops, is it? Can I get a better commander in here? Oof, I just I need better knights. They're terrible, terrible. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil has an amazing one. I have heard, but I need to listen to it as well. Um, I haven't played Assassin's Creed. Not really my jam, so I can't say that I've actually uh, gotten into the soundtrack. So uh, I don't know how that how that is. Um, what else? What else? Okay, let's get him. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of other soundtracks. Uh, the Batman NES soundtrack. Uh, the M F Mighty Final Fight soundtrack for NES as well. Oh, we're gonna lose so hard over here, I think. The White Heart! Prey! Thank you, Iridian Seeker. Yes, Prey. The soundtrack to Prey is amazing. I just wish it was more. There was more of it. Because it's actually kind of maybe like six tracks or seven or something like that. Um, they're amazing! But there's just too few, unfortunately. No, the new one. The uh, Bethesda... Uh, well, actually, the... Um... Oh my god, I can't... Names! I can't remember the name of the devs. Uh, Arcane. The Arcane Studios one. The soundtrack, of course, done by our boy Mc McGordon. Uh, for the second Prey. Hmm... 
Yeah, but I think those are like my top OSTs, like video game OSTs. Stellaris. And I gotta say the soundtrack, like the songs over here in, in, in Crusader Kings 3, they're kind of, they kind of slap. Like, I gotta say. Uh, my lord, this search of yours is for, for a mere beast. I have to admit, it worries me. My Archbishop Wolfgar approaches me as I sift through reports of new sightings of the White Heart. Evid evidently, anything that demands so much attention could be sent by Satan. Hello, Satan. As if its existence is not a sign of the Lord himself. So I could argue with him and sort of convince him that, hey, actually, the heart is a messenger from God. I could tell him to buzz off. What video games do I like to play on stream? Well, currently, we're playing uh, CK3 today. Um, on Thursdays, we play Civilization and Factorio. And uh, then, after we kind of finish some playthroughs of that, we'll kind of see what we're feeling. Um... But maybe it'd be good to kind of go through my Steam library and actually play those damn games that I have in there that I haven't really touched yet. So maybe that could be a good idea. Um, so yeah, this is this is basically what we kind of do. It's mostly strategy games, basically. Just chill stuff, more brainy stuff that I kind of really suck at, but I don't care. I don't care, I'm just I'm having fun. So I hope you guys are having fun too. So I could convince the priest that the thing that I'm looking for is actually a messenger from God and not from Satan. I could tell him to buzz off, or I could stop my hunt for this heart and just say what, uh, and just say, um, and and just get some piety. So I'll argue with him. Hey, I convinced him. We got some piety, and we're getting our butts kicked. We're getting our butts kicked because. Actually, oh, we're, we're at war with Desmond? Hello. Uh, we're getting our butts kicked because we're going to need some more sort of troops in here, yeah? So this is most unfortunate. Did we get stack wiped? We might have gotten stack wiped. Call to war. To the sensible King Constantine, okay, you're fighting King Odario, 1,800 troops. Um, do you like us enough to where I can say no and just leave me alone? Yes. Can totally do that. Okay, so this siege is, is super annoying. Lively livestock. Oh yeah, and Witcher 3 has an amazing one. Really got into Percival after that. Uh, I haven't played Witcher 3. Like, everybody says it with, like, the internet just loves Witcher 3. And all my friends love Witcher 3. I haven't gotten into it. Because, first of all, it's a huge time sink. Second of all, it's, uh, it's, I'm not, like, aside from CK3, I'm not, like, really into sort of, I'm not into fantasy that much. Especially fantasy RPGs. Um... So it's kind of hard for me to get into into The Witcher 3, but I have heard that it's absolutely amazing. Um, and also, third reason, Cyberpunk is coming up. I don't know about you guys, but if I'm gonna if I'm gonna invest 80 hours <laughs> into an RPG, it's probably gonna be uh, like it's gonna be uh, Cyberpunk. Did I play Bioshock? It is one of your favorite games. Hey, nice, Sefo. Uh, yes, I did play Bioshock. I played the first one. Um, I have the second one and uh, Infinite, but I haven't played them yet. I'm kind of thinking about sort of saving them to play them on stream, especially since uh, the first Bioshock made me like scream like a little girl. It was very scary for me. I I'm sorry. <laughs> and um, yeah, the first time I played it, uh, I absolutely adore Bioshock. Like the first one is amazing. Um... But when it comes to sort of immersive sims, the new Prey has it beat in my personal heart. Um, it's just, it can't beat that sci-fi mind game setting. Like, I just adore it, right? And the soundtrack, like, our boy McGordon. Um, my favorite game of all time is, oof, that's a doozy. That is hard for me to say. Uh, I know my favorite video game series of all time, which is Civilization. 
Um, I started Bioshock Infinite, played like two minutes of it or something, maybe ten minutes, half an hour at most. But I wanted to like see if maybe we can get it, we can get to play it on stream. Um, so my favorite video game series of all time has got to be Civilization. I grew up with that series. It's such a it's such a big part of of my nerdiness. And uh, once again, we're here to nerd out about stuff. So and geek out as well. Uh, nerding or geeking, whatever is your poison, we're here for it. Um, also, I have to say that maybe, like, the... I'm trying to think of some of the most impactful video games, like, on, on, on me. Um, StarCraft II was a big one. Um, one of the biggest uh, time sinks that we've done, actually, and Iridian Seeker, you can, conform, you can confirm this, is the Borderlands series. Um, and... Uh, we're trying to finish up Borderlands 3 with the expansions and, and trying to 100% and get as many uh, achievements as we can. Uh, that has been a ton of fun. And really, it's brought us together as a couple. Um, another thing, I'm trying to think. What, another game that had a really big impact on me when I was growing up was Dune 2. The building of Arrakis. Uh, or the Dynasty. Varakis, what was it called? The Legacy something. Dune 2. It's one of the first real-time strategy games. If not, it's, it's no, it's just one of the first. And it basically uh, it was made by Westwood before they made Conquer, Command and Conquer and all of that. Um, and basically, like, it's... it's That was my first exposure to, like, a strategy game. It's, yeah, so... Um, that was a big one for me growing up. Uh, StarCraft 2, yeah, but not multiplayer. I don't play StarCraft multiplayer. I experimented with it. I'm terrible at it. I, I just, the story for StarCraft 2, especially the Terran campa campaign, uh, was fantastic for me. Um, made me feel a lot of feels. Uh, the Doom series, again, is a huge part, as well as Quake. And I do think that Quake 4 is very, very underrated. Um, and without Quake 4, we wouldn't have gotten, actually, Doom, I would say. 2016 um so yeah definitely the first doom doom 2 uh doom 2016 doom eternal just some of my favorite games of all time they're just fantastic half half life half life 2 um as well as the first one really just oh my god when i played half life 2 the first time it just blew my freaking mind um also of course the remake black mesa is amazing as well Hold on a sec, let me just see over here what's happening. So, Lively Livestock. As an additional payment in a recent trade, I find myself in possession of a large herd of cattle. I have been assured that the animals are of the highest quality, but the question of what should be done with them remains. So, I could send them to Shetland and get a cattle herd and get some, some boosted development, or I could try a challenge and get the large cattle herd and get more development, or just sell them. There we go, we did it! We won that challenge! We rolled well. Um, unfortunately, our marshal died, but it's okay because he hated us anyway. May your journey be swift into the afterlife. Sick frob. Right, so we need to get our troops back in here. <laughs> right, because unfortunately we've gotten... Like, we got our butts kicked royally. I might add. Um... And then we'll try to take a... To, to, to sort of get his army out of here. Is that a, like an ally of his? It is. It is. Okay. Come on. Unfortunately, his army is very, very um, high quality. But still, we should be able to kick his butt. Get in! Um, unfortunately, they're very low quality because I don't have enough prestige. So b when when you're tr when you're a tribe, which is what we are right now, before we're your feudal, uh, basically we. Uh, hello, did your dad die? No. But what's your? No, but what is your dad doing then? He assigned some territory, I think. Anyway, um. <clears throat> When you're a tribe, 
basically you support your troops to prestige, right? Because I, I think it sort of emulates the thing that, like, we don't need gold to pay for, uh, to pay for troops. We just need them to sort of respect us, right? Unfortunately, R-E-S-P-E-C-T is not something that we have a lot in spades right now, right? Let's get a commander in here. A vassal and champion. Are you in, in many wars? Because you seem to be. Let's siege this for ourselves. Um... We should be winning. Winning! Uh, did I play Dead Space? Yes! I played a little bit of Dead Space and then got too scared and didn't continue. <laughs> but I want to play Dead Space, like some more Dead Space. Um, Holy War for the Earldom of Desmond. Um, yeah, I can accept that because we're kicking their butts anyway. So I see you're kind of pressing your stuff in here. That's not. That's not nice. Um, but yeah, I want to play Dead Space, like, top to bottom. Um... So let's get some more taxes in here. I'd like to get Avaricious to get a lot of gold, um, going. Extort Subjects Decision, hello. Okay. Can demand payment, powerful vassals want council positions, you're an okay-ish marshal, but you're not the best. So, yeah. And you also, you're not good at anything. Like, you're good at learning, but you can't be a bishop, so. It is what it is. Dude, we need to get prestige up in this mofo. Like, for realsies. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, this is how it's gonna be. Kingdom of the Isles. Are you rebelling? Are you rebelling? Because I think it's time for you to get repressed. Or oppressed, actually. A changing mind. Der Ilay has been asking me for a wooden champion for a long time, and I told her I would get one for her in three months if she displayed more focus in her studies. She simply waved my offer away, saying she did not really care about that anymore. Anymore. Well, aren't you a little shit? Okay, uh, fickle, no way. Um, content, trusting. She's gonna get killed if she gets trusting. Like, I can already see it. Uh, content... Is a bit better. I think. Okay, let's do that. But fickle, I don't think, is a good trait. Okay. 